What's going on guys? It's Paul here at Maverick Diesel. Uh, we're going to do a little video coverage uh, starting today, I guess, from now on of the shop, some of the stuff we do. Um, so basically today what we're going to do is um, we're going to do some Rudy's prep. Uh, we're going to go change the radiator in my red truck, known as fire truck. Most people know it that way. Um, it's got a Mishimoto radiator in it. Uh, I'm not convinced that, that it's working as well as it should. Uh, it's actually got a thinner core than a factory one. Uh, because of this, I think we're running a little bit hot. We've got a factory fan set up and everything on it. It just gets hot climbing hills. So we're gonna change that out to start off the night. And we're gonna unload the truck from the race, tra uh, race trailer and uh, check everything over on it, make sure it's good. Maybe give it an oil change. Um, we'll get it loaded back up in the trailer. And uh, then in the morning tomorrow, we're gonna hit the road and head to North Carolina. Uh, see if we can pull off a points win in the 590 index class. We're second points currently. Uh, we're behind Minnie Jackson. Uh, Rick Fox is right behind us by like 18 points or something like that. So it's super tight. Um, Brett uh, Markham's not going to make it to this race. He was in fourth. So we're guaranteed first through third, regardless of what happens this weekend in points, which is pretty good year two for us. The goal is to win points. Um, I think we have a good chance of it. Last year we got second points. Uh, Rick got first. Uh, Mindy wasn't racing last year. Um, so hopefully we can come out with a win. That'd be great. If not, it's part of racing. That's how it goes. Um, truck's ready. We got it dialed in last weekend. Uh, we went 584, 586, then we slowed it down, went 601, figured out on that pass that we were completely out of fuel. There was like air bubbles. That's all that was in the tank. Topped the fuel off, went out and ran it out again, went 594 um, in like 92 degree heat of the day. So should be good to go um so we're gonna go out and hopefully uh bust some people's heads so here's a video content from uh doing the red truck and race truck and get ready to go and uh some of the drive there all right so we're out in the shop now we're gonna go check out what we're gonna change out here show you some little things we got going on the shop too while we're here probably gonna be a lot of wind noise because this fan hopefully it's not too bad uh we'll check it out see if it's usable so uh, anyways, here's the truck on the receiving end, radiator. So we're gonna change that, uh, change this old girl out. She's not working quite up to par, at least I don't think. So we're gonna give it a shot, see how it goes. Uh, Grant's been working today. He's, uh, I don't know. Got a little bit of a mess here left, but been working on some shifter mounts, some gauge mounts and stuff. Got Audrey here playing on the floor. She's been cleaning the shop today. Pretty sweet Supra here in the background. We've been uh, working on the cage on it. This is the start of 25.3 we're working on. So, be doing that. This truck here is getting a G56. Uh, swapping the 48RE out. Uh, I guess he's tired of the truck shifting itself. I don't know his reasons. I just know he wants us to swap it. So there's the trans swapping it out. There's Grant doing work. That's what he's supposed to do anyways. <laughs> so anyways, do some uh, work on this thing. Show you guys what we're doing. All right, so we're going to start. We're going to drain the cool out of this thing. Oh, let's see if I'm even on the right side. Looks like I'm not to the other side. work on these things all the time. I don't even remember what the hell is like. The drain plug's on. So, let's see if we can make a mess. And the answer is yes, we're already dripping. Okay. FYI for anyone that doesn't have a Mishimoto radiator, they, uh, the drain on them sucks because they are not a normal petcock. They're actually uh, just a drain plug, which does not exactly work ideal for our application. Okay, back to it here if we can make a mess because I'm pretty sure we're going to as I was saying the Mishimoto radiator I mean it's super nice but 
just does not seem to work as good as it should. So we'll let that drain for a bit. So we'll see. I'm probably gonna make a huge mess. No, it's actually uh, it's actually doing pretty good. Only missed a little bit. It's not terrible. So we'll let that drain and then uh, we'll come back and we'll work on getting the radiator out. All right, so I got covered in uh, coolant doing the radiator here and uh, ended up not videoing any of it pretty much. So um, last thing you saw was me undoing the uh, petcock and it's all changed out now. So plastic intake, just like stock, nothing fancy. There's the aluminum Mishimoto. Like I said, I'm not convinced it's any better. In fact, I think this uh, stock one holds about a gallon more than the Mishimoto, so I don't know. We're going to try it. Uh, we'll be leaving out tomorrow morning, heading towards North Carolina. I know it runs about 225 up a big hill haul in the enclosed trailer, so if it's down anything from there, it'll be proof that uh, the stock one's better, but on to the next truck. So we got the truck pulled in, checked some stuff over on it, checked the oil. It was, it was a little low. Uh, the truck's got no valve seals. So because of that, it has a tendency to puke oil uh, out the exhaust uh, after having the truck on the lift or anything where the engine may lean back or forward a bit more and pull on one side of the engine. Um, and it just gets around that, that valve because there's no seal. Uh, we did that because the cam that we ran from King Speed um, has a lot of lift um, and it would the valve spring retainer would actually contact the valve seal so it's a race truck we don't need them it just burns a little bit of oil so we're a little bit low in oil we're going to top it off uh, we got some Schaefer's uh, SAE 50 they're micro molly stuff we've been running that since uh, middle of last year uh, we actually heard a piston at Outlaw Armageddon this year and uh, when we did that um, when we took it apart, King Speed actually said that that engine, uh, the bearings looked fine. We actually went ahead and just popped them back in. Um, after that, uh, with the short block now is from One Way Diesel. Um, it's got a King Speed cylinder head with their side draft. And um, so we've actually got the King Speed engine over here. We've got it as a backup, um, and one way asks if we would uh, beat the crap out of their engine and see how it does. So that's what we've been doing since uh, Shide, which was August. Uh, so now we're going on two, two and a half months. Uh, been beating the crap out of it. Runs 590, no problem. We actually do it on fuel now. Uh, we went 541 and 134 uh, on this short block. Same cylinder head we always run. Uh, stainless diesel, five blade S485. Uh, extra G 500% overs, extra G 14 millimeter race pump on top. We got a stock pump on the bottom. Uh, we got a Waggler dual pump cover. Um, all the intercooler piping we built here. Uh, basically, it's it's got a lot of good parts. Uh, the truck really isn't anything fancy. Basically, it's a tube chassis back half, stock from the cab forward. Um, nothing fancy on the front suspension. Before I get sidetracked, I'll come around here and show you guys the back half. And it's dirty, so it needs wiped down. Um, 
pretty decent little setup um, we've been 129 of the 60 foot at 4930 pounds with me in it um, pretty much every time i let go of the trans brake button it's going 130 to 133 um, unless something really off the wall happens and even on a bad 60 we're doing high 130s so i'm pretty happy with the chassis um, we did all that ourselves just lots of searching trying to figure out you know it was always a question uh, with four wheel drive guys was how do we set the chassis up and make it work um, because we're four wheel drive and pretty much what we've done and what i've found to work the best is we just treat it like it's two wheel drive and set it roughly where we would set it if it was a two wheel drive that didn't have a crap weight bias and basically what that does is the back tires are doing i would say at least 85 percent of the work and the front tires are basically just they're just there to help um you know we've not we've not put any power in the 60 foot since the beginning of the year all we've done is touch the suspension and pretty much beginning of the year we were doing consistent 135 136s um, it got to the point now where pretty much if it doesn't go 133 or quicker uh we're out checking the track trying to figure out you know is it is the track super loose or you know what's going on with it and uh that's pretty much where we're at so that's kind of a quick rundown on the truck um we'll go over some more stuff on it probably later on in the video uh, just get you guys familiar with it because you'll be seeing it quite a bit so for now we're gonna put some of this oil in Now. There we go. Getting somewhere now. I'd say she was a quarter too low. We do have a uh, King Speed oil pan on it, so it holds about, uh, I think, from empty to full. It's about five gallons. So it's a fair amount of oil, um, even when it's low pickup tube has uh, been extended to pick up oil from the bottom of the pan uh, and it's a big deep pan so even when we're low we're we're hardly low on oil uh, so we just top it back off every so often and down the track it goes no i think uh i think we'll just leave it i smelled the fluid i had grant smell the fluid pretty much it smells normal. Uh, I don't think there's any reason to pull the fluid. We'll just load up forward and direct clutches because if we kill it, it's going to be forward and direct. I think that's every time we ever pull it, if it hurts anything, it's either forward or direct. So we'll just load up a couple clutches and steels. And if we have to fix it in the parking lot, we'll fix it in the parking lot. The cool thing about the 590 tune is it doesn't make any power. So the chances of hurting it are slim to none. Guess it went on all check. Pretty much loaded it in the trailer this last weekend after making four passes? Yeah. Okay, four passes? No, five passes. I made three Friday night. Mm -hmm. And then 584, 586. You got that ass busted in bracket racing. Yeah. Yeah. Then we went 601 and ran it out of fuel. Literally, it ran out of fuel. Like, air bubble was all that was left. And then 594 middle of the day like 92 degrees hot as shit and then round one bracket racing uh, we cut a better light I dialed a 594 I thought I was out enough and I chopped the throttle we went six double O he ran a 550 I think he went 552 on his dial but he was uh, 500 slow on the light and he beat us by five thousands and I am no bracket racer so we took our loss and back in the trailer it went and figured we'd unload it check it and make sure it seems good now package is good though we got all the jet size we need in there which is basically school at this point school and our 60 foot jet taking two mother bottles up taking two mother bottles up in the morning just in case us or anybody else to track moves it 
got the new belt on that we shredded in Florida. We got the old belt on the floor that's shredded as a backup in case we lose this belt. Um, I don't think there's anything else. Is there anything else we need to do, Grant? Grant says he doesn't get it. So I suppose... We need a floor more. We need a floor more. No, we don't need a floor more. Every time I floor more, we go 580s. And I need to go 590s. We need that, we need that Volkswagen button. That's the floor yes. more. You want to inform the people to come back with Volkswagen? Yeah. No, we'll do a video on it. Yes. In informational video on Volkswagen. It'll be coming up soon. On there. Push the pass button. Push the pass. That's what it is. Trademark. All right. I guess back in the trailer there it goes. Trucks in the trailer. Donovan's got the back done. Uh, we got the front strapped. We're gonna unstrap the mother bottle here. She's uh, good and empty. And uh, we're going to take it to get a new one in the morning. That way we've got nitrous. If anybody at the track needs it, we've got it as well. So, get that out, and uh, pretty well set to go in the morning. So, I guess we'll see you guys in the morning. That is too far forward by a long shot. Oh, I didn't video any of that.